uh hello youtube this is Ben Lemage, and i thought we would put out a quick video on what i am personally league starting this league with so i want to just put some quick caveats forward at the beginning this is not a full build guide that i suggest other people follow this is not incredibly noob friendly and it has some gear requirements that make it so that i wouldn't normally suggest it for a league start for everybody i do need to get some things relatively early um i basically have to have call of the brotherhoods on day one and i expect them to be 50 or 60 chaos each so i'm looking at maybe 120 chaos just to get those just for the rings and, and i need them they're they're pretty mandatory i lose half my damage without them so that's just for the life version when i change into low life which i'm hoping to do either by the end of day one or the start of day two i also need myself a six link shabs and a prism guardian and i will end up needing cluster jewels relatively quick so this is not the cheapest it's certainly not the most expensive thing i've ever league started um i am comfortable doing it i will be able to do it if you know how to make a moderate amount of money you will also be able to do it which is fine uh, but it's not i haven't put in leveling trees and and i'm not doing this as like a build guide because i don't want you to copy this unless you do know that you will be able to afford those things you know for a fact you've got enough playtime and enough knowledge you're going to be able to afford to buy the mandatory pieces in this build because if you can't the build will suck even with the mandatory pieces i'm looking at best case scenario and this is with level 20 gems on and i'm looking at best case scenario 2.3 mil dps which is not incredibly high for a league start uh real more realistically it'll probably be with everything at gem level 18 which will probably put me at well under 2 mil i'm probably going to be looking at 1.8 mil which is relatively low for a league start especially compared to my other league start guides or many many of the other league start guides that have come out a lot of things at league start will be tankier than this and will do more damage i am playing it because i really really like the storm brand play style and i want to make it work i did this as inquisitor last league i think the occultist version might actually be even better so i'm going to be playing the occultist version but i'm doing this for fun because i want to and i am sharing my plan with people so if you want to copy it you can but just be aware of those things all right so we have our like day one life set up here. The only things that I will need immediately is two Call of the Brotherhoods as quickly as I can physically get them. Uh, the Mute Wing boots are quite nice because they have a decent amount of flat added and 60% crit on them. And I do quite like them as a pair of boots, but it's really not that important. I could just have a rare pair of boots. It, it doesn't, it, it, it adds you know 120,000 dps to have mute wins so if they if they show up cheap i plan on buying them but if they don't they don't it's fine um we'll be looking for plus one car speed crit multi flat damage stuff like that on our wands these are actually quite decent wands i probably won't have two wands this good i will have one wand this good probably by the end of the first day but but two's a stretch um we're getting we're getting just regular gear on all the rest of it we're going to look for some version of elemental weakness on hit on gloves this is super important because occultist and occultist pops so the most important thing here is to get an elemental weakness hit so our pool of gloves that we're allowed to buy is limited to the things that have a curse on hit because we really basically have to have one so i have two setups for gear a low life and a life base I have two setups for skills i have the life ones turned on by default but if we disable the entire life setup and enable unfortunately i can't find a way to do this all at once with like one button which is relatively annoying so you have to do it manually uh which takes a minute but if we change everything here over to the low life version you'll notice that we get significantly more damage 
Here we are with seven odd mil DPS. Now that's seven, seven and a half mil DPS. This now that's significantly better, right? I'm very happy with that. Uh, that's actually too high. I'm pretty sure it's five mil. Something is wrong. Pretty sure the build is five mil, not seven. Ooh, I know what's wrong. No, I don't. Hmm. It's double storm brand. Okay, I don't know what I've done with the path of building, but I will fix it before I post it. This this extra one here that's doing four mil, that shouldn't be there. I, I don't know. I don't know where it is. I don't know where it's coming from. So anyway, I didn't put a lot of work into this one because it is mostly for me. It is my thing that I want to do. Ha, ah, there it is. Fixed it. Fix it. All right. So it's six mil total, but with no defenses, no defenses to speak of when you change into the low life version. I have no armor. I have no evasion. I have only leech for recovery. Um, there's, it is just. Change into our low life gear as well. We go up to eight mil. This is probably as far as it'll ever go. For, uh, like literally as far as it'll ever go. Um, I've seen league start builds that cost a quarter of this that do 20, 25 mil and have defenses. We have none and we do eight mil total in our full end game setup. Prism Guardians, even a plus two shabs is on this version. Um, you know, this is, this is a lot of gear to do not that much damage compared to a lot of other builds, but the play style of Stormbrand is one of my absolute favorite and it on the play style of it on its own is the reason why I'm going with it because I think when you perma freeze everything and your brands stay down for a few seconds and you get to spend time dodging and not looking at things I don't believe I'm going to need the defenses that other builds are building for softcore trade I don't think I need 30,000 armor 24,000 evasion I think I'll just be fine um pretty confident i'll be fine um i know for a fact that on day three or four i think day three of a league um a build exactly like this last league with no defenses was running tier 14s and tier 15s in nemesis 3 fully juiced content with 20 or 40 percent delirious on it so i don't see any problem with any of the new content that being said the only reason I'm taking this risk myself is because I know full well that if there is a problem, I will be able to tackle that problem. If I have to change, I will change. If I have to get defenses because it's just not working, I will find those defenses. And if I can't, I will find a build to pivot into because I am an occultist and occultist is objectively the best ascendancy as far as I'm concerned. So I'm going to be super, super comfortable on playing Stormbrand and I'm super, super comfortable that I can pivot into another build. So again, this is not a build guide. And unless you know what you're in for, please don't copy what I'm doing. But if you do want to copy what I'm doing, this is the path of building for it. I will share it in the description. There will be build updates to go along with it. And if you do despite my advice not to good luck and i hope it works out for both of us i hope everybody is super excited for the league start because i am and i will see everybody later goodbye